Juventus here. Got a VOD here. Storm Tech Platinum 4. He says he wants to uh, get Emerald. And uh, let's get started. So, looking at his history, he's been focused on playing the Viego, which is really, really nice here. 8 and 3. Obviously, he's trending up. And then looking down here, I think this is when I was, when he first messaged me around this time. And since then, he has changed up the, the red into blue. Really nice. Congratulations, and uh, let's get into the game. I don't have anything to say about your profile other than you're trending up. And if you continue doing the, the same things, you'll eventually... Uh, Get the dub, the emerald, and then have Gragas versus Diego. I'm not sure if you won or lost this game, but let's just watch it. So, usually. We want to be defending our entrances right so obviously i think it seems like you're gonna go there right but i think the more common since the changes to the rift more common invades are coming through bot side i think i'm not sure why it's just a like a trend i noticed so if we have a team that's capable of invading i would probably take the invade in solo queue most of the time i would take the invade just uh letting you know and if the enemy has a good invade, I'd be very cautious of it, and I'd be pinging my team, hey guys, we need to be careful, watch our entrances, they might actually invade us. So we'll keep that in mind. They do have, the enemy has a good invade. You have to be very cautious about this. I don't, I don't mind that word, it's good word. Plays, play, play is fine so far. I don't think, I don't think any jungler needs a leash now, but it's something that I need to look, look into a little bit more. I've been starting solo usually. I play jungle, but wonder how other vehicles play it. I think with the changes to the rift, I think uh, leashing is uh, a little bit outdated. Watch them hit it just once or twice and leave. Uh, they're giving a proper one. And I, I think like as you climb higher, you'll see uh, more players electing to stay in lane and then starting a shove here to manipulate the wave in their favor. So when you when you are looking, it's good that you started, and now it's like a matter of like, okay, what what are we looking for, right? So when we look, right, we we take a a note of their HP, take a note note of the mana. Uh, spelled the end wrong. I don't know why. And then look. He's almost at half, so it seems like they're trading. Also, where the wave is meeting right now, it's right here. So, if Lux continues to play aggressively here, because I'm, I'm assuming she's playing aggressive based off this look, she will be able, we will be able to gank her. Now, all that said, other things we need to take a account in 30 seconds. Where will the wave be? So in 30 seconds, will the wave be here? Will the wave bounce back and reset? Will the wave stay here? And with that, we start making assumptions on 
how we should approach the gank when the when we ultimately do decide to gank right so now it's like okay now we're used to looking but now it's attracting all this information and then making a decision based off of it and that's what jungle is so when we are so when we are looking bottom Are we actually planning on going there anytime soon? It's more beneficial to look at the mid and top because that's where we're headed towards, right? If we do go bot lane, we gank bottom, the enemy jungle will enter our jungle, steal our jungle, and and now we have to uh play we we're down we're down with uh what's that called? One one fourth of you know we only take one fourth of the entire jungle right there's four quadrants this quadrant this quadrant this quadrant and this one right so we only take one fourth of it and then he gets three right he gets one two three that's really bad right so are we actually ever going down there maybe maybe once or twice but like this is when we start need to start looking at mid and top right we need to be looking at the right things not the wrong things okay. But remember, try to take a like. You need to you need to look, but uh, take a better account of what's going on, right? Like, what is going on right here? Sure. You can look. You can take a look, right? Okay, so mid. Okay, so top wave. Top wave is pretty fat right now, right? We're probably electing to full clear, so by the time this wave uh thins out, probably gonna be in the middle here. And then these guys are have been in the same place the entire time. So there's you probably missed the gank opportunity middle in this specific game. But it's hard to tell that because we're not uh really really looking at it, right? We're kinda looking, but not really, in my opinion. We look top like can we look middle we're, we're, our, our mind has decided uh we already decided we're going top lane uh, a long time ago or it's just or maybe this is just the effect of the full clear right but i think there there's there's a lot of merit into looking uh right here a little bit more This is a good ping. The enemy top laner might have actually shoved and based, right? So he might actually be walking here. So we might have the tempo here. You did not look at this guy's uh, mana or HP, or maybe you did right here. I, I don't think so. We don't. So we just back. We just back, assuming it's unsafe. Should we should we be giving up this this crap to Gragas? I'm not too sure, but I, I I think it's fine. Oops. Gragas took the bot crab. I'm I'm a, yeah I'm not sure about that back to be honest. Lost both crabs because of it. Very interesting spot. Um, there's like ways of looking into the spot, right? So, how do we go? And then we go search and put it's like this.
two weeks ago. And this guy starts solo raptors, right? So obviously it's it's different from how you started, but maybe we could find find one where he starts bot side. Well, this is gonna be a full clear, right? Oh, he steal. He starts by stealing. Okay, well, every game is different, I guess, and it's hard to to say what what to do in these specific uh, situations. But interesting, though, the interesting starts that these high elo players do, right? It's like so far you. So far, you're it playing in the ELO that a lot of players make mistakes all the time. Right? They're they're trading too much. They're pushing up too much, but we haven't influenced the map once yet. Right? And just try to keep that in mind. Right? Like, how often are we doing this play where we're just not influencing the map in a game in which players are making a lot of mistakes? When we're when we're too used to playing the same way all the time, that's when we start getting into trouble because we start facing junglers who uh, make adjustments and adapt on the fly. They don't always do the same thing. Why are we going? Why are we going for this? Going for this because we have nothing else to do, right? Not. It's like we we kind of try to have to like we we need to make a pick, right? We need to we need to we we need to know where they are. Where where is Gragas right now? We don't know where Gragas is. We haven't really looked top lane to see a situation like where's the HP? Where's the minion minion wave? We know that Asol can come help us up, but we also know this is here, right? So. We do start aggroing this. We might uh, have vision and start our fight. Right? Are we really? Are we really looking to fight here? That's the question. But higher higher ELO players are tracking you better, and they know when you start grubs like this, right? So the next grubs are gonna start at six minutes, not five. I think. I think it changes. And this is something you have to be very cautious about. So yeah, he's he's coming down, he's checking, right? He, had, he, he has an idea, right? And they both know, right? But this is how we get in trouble. Because the better junglers are going to be here on spawn. They're going to be waiting for you to start this. And when you start this, they're going to they're gonna punish you way harder. It's not it's not going to be an easy, I'm going to take one and dip, right? This is where troubles come. You play like this, right? It's hard to... It's some... Like, a lot of players... They understand this, so they don't. Right? And sad, like sadly enough, like I know some players who play for years and years and years, and they just still do this. They're still the same rank. They don't find. Well, it's like if you don't believe it, you believe it. If you don't, you don't. But what you just did there was a mistake. Good pings. Good pings. So, so we see Gragas, nice look bottom. See Gragas on Raptors. Look bot again now. Look bot, look bot, look bot, look bot. Okay, stop. They're probably going to push the wave in and back up a little bit, right? That's probably what's going to happen. Look, they're fighting. Why don't you go? Why don't you go? And then Fox kills metal here. Can't do anything about that. So we need to we need to cover middle. Get the wave. That's 160 gold a plate, right? For each plate, 160 gold. 
plus the wave. And when you, when you, so this is the second time I've seen you, you made a decision and you stuck to it no matter what. So for, uh, on, on your first clear, you decided to gang, uh, to go top side. You stuck to that decision no matter what, right? So this is another spot where uh, this is an opportunity for you to make an adjustment. And we'll see if you're uh, capable of doing it. So this is uh, probably something that you do commonly, where you uh, tunnel vision. And you don't look at the bigger picture and then you, you lose gold you lose gold because of it right so you elected for the, the 75 how much is this i'm not even sure how much this is what like 25 we'll see we'll see right now that well, was 10 that was 10 gold so you elected for 10 gold I just do the math, right? You'll you'll see it with your own eyes. Ten gold versus one hundred sixty gold for the plate and the wave, and we don't know how much the wave is, middle, right? You're gonna get that grump. You're gonna get that wolves, regardless. So we don't add that to the eat with your own eyes, right? This is the way you play, and when you make the change, when you make the adjustment. Uh, you'll come out uh, way ahead. Especially in solo queue. So that's good pings. You're tracking good. You're tracking good. I think Gragas is on uh, Drake right now. Yeah, that's so funny. Hey, okay, look, the dragon, the dragon is sleeping, right? But then, because we walk by it, it wakes up, and that's why it spread its wings, and then you fucking clicked it. That's hilarious. Look, he's sleep, he's sleeping, right? He's sleeping. He's easy. Oh gosh, gotcha. that's hilarious. He's, he's just he's sleeping right and when he sees you guys he's like ah shit he's like ah shit people ah shit fucking angry he's like ah fuck man what click is going i don't know you <laughs> that's an unfortunate click um and then starting the drake right after i guess ergot's on the on the grubs, but we, we uh, live we don't notice this. Too hard to notice. At least Garen pinged it. Your jungle tracking is actually pretty good. I'm gonna give you that. You know how to track the jungle pretty, pretty fucking well. Your patience here to wait for the gank opportunity was all also expertly done. Maybe you waited a little bit, but honestly, I, 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 I like, I like it all here. It, we don't, we don't need to conceal vision because she already knows that we're here facing, right? So we just have to take the quickest path. We don't have to click down and go. We, we 
we we uh mess up here is we misclick. So there's like a mouse misclick. And then here mouse misclick again. But this might be this is something that I'm gonna start start taking into consideration, right? Like when I'm going to the pit, I'm gonna wake up the dragon and I'm gonna uh need to adjust with my mouse clicks. This is something I learned right now. I don't mind learning that that's just so it's almost laughable. Like a, that's a mistake, right? It happens. Here, yeah, these guys are throwing. Barge is throwing. Yep, yep. Easy, simple. Typical. Uh, Lux here. If we're gonna fight. Yep. I think, I think, honestly, I think it's strong enough just to jump on Lux. League is all about situations, right? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm loving this here. This is good. This is great. Understanding that Bard actually might be able to escape here. And then... Ping your intentions, right? Ping that you want to fight. So these guys turn, right? Because right now, Vagar's out, right? He's like, I'm done here. This guy, he's on the 50-50, right? He's down to fight, but he's also a little bit low in mana. Hard to know this. It's hard to take everything into account in the heat of the moment. But what you can do is ping your intentions, right? As you're transforming, or as you're trans, uh, going over the tunnel, ping, 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 I want to fight, right? Then your teammates will turn around and start fighting with you, right? Rhaegar's not even here, right? Now he comes, right? Anyways, in as you get higher and higher, right? Yellow. Players need to be in proper position quicker, right? They need to snap on these decisions. Snap. 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 And then here, um, it's unfortunate that you got caught, but you probably could have killed Lux here with your ultimate, right? Just walk up to her and alt it, alt her. Don't be afraid of Gragas, he's only level 5, right? And when you do jump on Lux, you'll quickly decimate her. In my opinion. U utilize your ultimate damage, right? If you're going for the kill, right? And that's like a that's a full on commitment, right? Like when you when you go over this portal, it's like okay, we're fighting, right? Straight into the lux, right? Just straight into the lux. Don't don't worry about this guy. Can't get early. Happy hour passive just heals him up. No no. And it's like okay, if I can't kill the Gragas, and if you think you're not killing the lux, then we don't go for the play, right? So. The situation league is all situations, right? Mental game is situations. My bad, sure. So this this play, this play that I'm referencing, right? When we go when we go here, you have Garen at base. What's the lane state middle? right there right when you looked right there that's when you decided i'm gonna go for this play no matter what and you didn't look at mid you looked at mid after you made the decision to go looked at mid after you decided to go these are the type of things that are gonna harm you in the long run can't jump over like this is so risky just understand how risky this is kill the fast your champion actually kills grubs fast so maybe there's merit in trying to steal it and rush it but you, you're taking a big risk doing this. And then now don't waste a W. Actually, will it come up? On Urgot, right? We missed the opportunity because we tunneled, right? Look where he's standing. Just go, go, go. Just go directly to him right now. Fuck this, man. You don't need this. Look where he's standing. Just go. Just beeline it straight towards him. Press W on him. 
and then just clean them, clean them up with your ultimates. Sixty six gold versus what? And he got a plate there too, buddy. Start paying attention to the to the waves a little bit more. He got one hundred sixty gold plate. The one hundred sixty gold, the wave, and a potential kill, which is at least one hundred fifty plus, right? He's just throwing away gold for sixty six, man. Sixty six gold, bro. This is the difference between. Uh, low elo junglers and higher elo junglers. Their ability to assess situations and make the correct decisions based off any given uh, situation. Okay, good, good, good. I think that's warded. I think that bush that you stepped on is warded. Walk back down there. It's warded. I think this warded. As soon as he showed up, Gragas left immediately. So this is the first time you actually thought about ganking middle. I think this could have happened uh, all, a lot earlier, to be honest. This gank middle could have happened a lot earlier. You have to ask yourself, could I have been there sooner, right? I know what you're thinking, I pinged them back, I pinged them back. But these guys, you have to understand that these guys, they're monkeys, man. They're not going to play perfectly and they're not going to listen to you. Some, of you. some of these guys have you muted and you don't even know, right? So at this point, good, good, good. But just keep looking, you know, keep your camera focused here this is the most important situation right now what is going on here and how can i system and make it happen it's not how can i maximize my damage output on the blue buff are you even are you even drawing it down bro you're not even drawing it down man in fact you you move your character model in a in a direction away from the party you should be dragging the blue buff down here and while it's patience is running you should smite it and then you'll be at the situation sooner if you're playing if you're greeting for the blue look at you just look at it man w towards the a complete opposite direction in which you, in which you need to go And in here, obviously, not obviously, but here, I think it would be better just to go to long wear than flank. Flank with your invisibility. I believe this is worded, right? We're playing, we, we, we've been playing like this is not worded. Um, need a base. You really need to base here. You just need a back. You're gonna probably uh lose a lot if you don't back. It's gonna be a lot lost if you don't back. You need to base. Enemies are just drones. Look at them. They're not even playing for this Drake. 
You're you're a very greedy player. And you're gonna get punished for it big time as you climb higher and higher. You're two one and two and you don't wanna enter his jungle. I'll check if it's blue. Hit that, hit that. Yeah. Check now. I'll go. Go in. Come on. He's running away because he's scared. He said he ran away. I used to play jungle like this. I'm. Gotta break free from your shell though, that's all I can say. And I think you can, I think you definitely can. You're tracking good. Which is like, your mechanics are there. Just your uh, decision making isn't always there. Walking into Gragas, you know that, right? I, I, you, you should be dead right now, to be honest. Kind of a tunnel, right? It just, it's kind of a testament to the way you play. It's like you kind of tunnel a little, a little bit, right? You didn't even see the word here because we're so tunnel vision on here, right? The reason why we didn't notice it because the pink word actually, I'm, I'm not sure to be honest. Oh, right, because you're not in mystery right now. Thing is, she has no spells right now, right? All of her spells are on cooldown. You might actually be able to kill her, but I understand uh, playing back is is a smart. And here, you should just be hundred percent dead here. I'm not sure how the enemy is to let you live. Trying to, have to we're trying to end the game, right? How do we end the game, right? Get ref, push bottom, make a pick, play, play for team. See what we see what we do. So the enemy red buff is playing soon. Spawning soon. We sweep this? Where's our sweeps? Fine. Maybe suggest buying a pink ward? I feel like this this bush has been warded all game. I think they know, right? We need to start sweeping these bushes. They know, they have to know, right? Okay. Let's assume this is not warded. Let's assume okay, th this has to be warded. Right? If this is not warded, this is warded, right? So their eyes on you is like, okay, we know this guy's bot lane, right? So they can probably set up they can probably set you guys up here now. This is what happens when we make obvious movement. And again, we need to play together, right? You're going to be playing solo queue and you're going to be setting up plays like this. You need to ping what, who are, who are we focusing? We all focus the same guy. Boom, he's done. He's gone. Now it's a uh, 3v2. Honestly, try to kill Zeri first, right?
played yourself, bro. Straight up, you played yourself. You counter, you counterplayed yourself. You made your play so obvious to the enemy that that they didn't even have to do much to win this. On paper, the idea is good, lane gank. But this is the, the what a lane gank is: is you're coming through lane to avoid all the wards in the river, to avoid the wards in the jungle. That's what a lane gank is. You come through lane. To avoid all that stuff and they're un they're unprepared and you cut catch them unawares. This is not a lane gank. This is just pure misunderstanding of uh ward spots. Uh, I, 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 even more, but I'm kind of speechless, right? It's just a misunderstanding of what a lane gank is, right? This is just you just set yourself up, right? On top of that, we don't even focus the right player, right? We're focusing on Bard, and then we switch to Zeri. We're scared to even put one auto on her, and we die because of it. At this point, the game's lost, right? And it's like... Feel that you've done so much, you know? I'm So much CS, you know, two dragons. Well, I got I got the grub. Oh, passing good, you know, but like, so many missed opportunities, missed chance, missed this, missed that. Tunnel vision, this tunnel vision, that, and just stacks on 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 stacks of mistakes that the better players don't do. And once you realize to fix all these mistakes, fill the holes up, fill the holes up, boom, boom, boom. Then the game becomes a lot easier, right? On these carry style junglers, right? Dragons up. We need to work together. Ping, ping as a ping as a team. Ping as a team together. Together, we need to start start warding warding these areas. The first thing I should be worrying about is warding these areas, making sure my team's together, and then we fight and probably try to catch them unawares while they enter the jungle. So this is good. Make sure everyone's together. You know, Garen's top side. You know, look look at Vegar's position, Soul's position. Okay, there's a ward there. Probably doing crab here. Okay, I see Lux. I want to be hitting the the crab into them. Okay, now now now, Gragas has no uh, E. They just got trapped in the like. Why are we running? So, understand where Zerath is now. Understand what the uh, soul's doing. Okay, good, good. Ergot's here. So it's a 5v4. Hacking. That's fine. It's going in there. It's rolling. Waiting for the enemy to make a mistake, I guess. Go, 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 go.
Feels weird dying there, but she got caught by the light binding, right? She, like she's surrounded by uh allies. Gets caught up like that, sucks. Gotta hit the wave, cover the wave. Hit the wave, man. It's not You gotta start you gotta start worrying about like Risk man, okay, not risk management, but like, look at the gold that you're giving up here versus the gold that you're getting here. Right? We didn't even get the siege, right? Zerath missed the siege. It's like 50 gold right there. I'm not playing a good game of jungle right now. Very hesitant. Very hesitant because we we know that if we die, the game's probably over, right? Good. Q auto W Inspection might be good here. Oh, it's a three V three, by the way. Oh man. Start entering the enemy jungle, man. Like, you're so... Like, you're scared to enter the enemy jungle. You're scared to take a risk. You're scared to... I can see it. I can feel it. I can sniff it. You know? Go in the enemy jungle. Start denying them gold. So you can gain gold. When you When you clear your own jungle... Like, 100% of your jungle, right? 100% of their jungle is the same thing. Right? So, like, this and this is equal to this and this. When you, when you constantly elect to go into your own jungle and clear your own jungle, you're only you're playing for a 50-50 split. You need to... Be more aggressive with your uh, jungle steals. Honestly, maybe even Garen stole more jungle camps than you this game, you know, just by taking that one grump.
Dragon spawning soon. Zeri's middle by herself. We're not looking at it though. We're just looking at blue. They sold bot lane. On the back. How does he get caught right before Drake? It's so annoying. We just have to give it. Nobody should die here. Not one person should die here. I would push mid in and then probably look for wolves. No, don't do this. Push mid in. Go for the wolves. Like we're not we're not killing anyone. We're not damaging anyone for ten percent of the HP and walking away. Definitely not getting caught here. We're just electing to play in our own jungle. I'm just noticing it more now, right? That's why I'm like pointing it out. But like, how can they defend wolves if they're all at Drake? Right? These are the, the opportunity missed. And sometimes you're going to get caught out stealing. That's just how jungle is, right? You got to take a risk sometimes. You can't just play a game where you're just playing passive, 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 and just hope, hope for the best, right? Got to push your lead, right? A soul's bottom. What are we doing? We don't even have wards, buddy. This type of play, we get caught out playing like this at higher or low. You have to understand this. You gotta work as a team and go together. Okay, this is a good uh, play getting this guy out of position. Okay, two bottom baron 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 two bottom baron baron good 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 ping it ping it ping it ping it ping it i ping question mark ping on my way let your team know what you want to do missed opportunity because you're not pinging bro this is what greg is doing okay now we baron right please okay zeri should be a mid, mid, uh, mid, mid side now but there are two dead Probably should pull off it. Yeah, definitely pull off it. Good job, good job. Zeri tried it. Zeri threw so hard there. She didn't need to do that. <laughs> this jumps over and she tries to outsmite you. Like, what on earth is she doing? Please tell me you win this game. That was kind of weird, you know? Your movement in here was weird. She shows, but you click like here without even looking towards her. That's kind of weird. Dude. I don't, I don't, I'm not sure what you're thinking there. Good. Push the wave in. Pick together. Push the wave in. Ping, ping, ping together. Ping together. Don't go into your own jungle and start farming. Please don't do that right now, man. You need to push turrets, bro. Use the Baron way to push turrets and group together because you, you gotta utilize the Baron buff. Like, nobody can push. Like, nobody can push when, like, the waves need to be pushed in so Gar Garen can start splitting. A soul can start splitting when the waves got pushed in because they need to address the waves that are getting pushed in, right?
Enemies are throwing. They should just be defending right now. Understand that, okay? It's not like your team or you guys made a good play. You guys are trolling a little bit. There's only one person in this game that's actually playing the wave, and that's Urgot. Yeah, which is typical of a top laner because they don't they don't even know what they're doing at the CLO. They're just pushing for the sake of pushing. Bro, take the wave. Oh my goodness, man. Game over. Your lane needs to be shoved in. Vagar's gonna get it. I'd probably hit that to see what they're doing. They might be on it right now. We're starting this when uh, everybody's at base and the enemies are missing. This is your bad habit of tunnel vision coming tunnel vision coming into pl uh, fruition. You tunnel at all uh Avenues of the game, right? Early game, mid game, and late game. Eventually, tunnel vision will pun. You will get punished for tunnel vision, right? Sometimes you'll get lucky when you tunnel vision an entire game. You won't get punished. But here, here is a spot where it's a late game situation, and you do get punished for having tunnel vision. Someone needs to address top, right? Here, I'll just go. I'll go right here. I'll go Raptors, Red, Golems. Raptors, Red, Golems. That's what I'll do. Go straight Raptors, Red, Golems. Tough game right now. It was just the game sense spot, right? Hard to hard to say what the correct moves do at thirty three minutes into the game. As we play more and more, you'll see like what the correct decision is, right? Buy a pink ward, man. Like you might you might be just all walking all over vision right now. And when they can see you, they can just make an easy decision on what to do. Waiting for Zara, right? Creeps are incorrect. I'm not sure what you're doing here. This is very, very risky. But if you do get it, it's nice. Can't really go bot lane right now. You have to, you have to keep mid shoved in, based off your position right now, and make sure that the enemies don't go bot lane. Like don't let them all go bot lane. You need to shove the wave. So now Baron is a risk, right? So. Be together, that's all you guys need to go do. Oh my god. Hey, what are you doing? 
Be with the team, be with the team. Walk up a little, man. Pressure turret, something, yo. Can't, we can't hit turrets if we don't play for them, right? We're just letting them play on us. Stay away from him. We just need to be together. That's, that's all we need to do. Be together, right? Like, you're like half a screen away from... And then Zerath, he's all alone up there. And you need, like... To kind, of, to kind of have to take advantage or take control of your team a bit. Yo, together, together, ping them together. Make sure we're all together here, right? In here, it's like instead of clicking away like a coward, straight up, go up and play your role, right? Be a front line for this guy so he can walk out and then deal his DPS. You know, scare them a little, right? Waiting, 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 waiting. We're letting, we're letting all these guys posture up, put, put the hurt on him, and then at the same time, we're so far away that we can't even hit our W when we do elect to go in because we're playing so far back. We're playing so scared. We're so scared of the situation. We don't want to throw the game, right? But in doing so, we do throw the game. Yeah, your teammates have piss poor positioning, but you do as well. And that's all you have to do to worry about to get better to the next level, right? Stick together. That's all you need to do. Be together. Be with him. Be with Vagar. Everybody with Vagar right now. And you're scared of Bard, right? We see him, we, we're clicking 50-50. We don't know wh whether we should gauge on him. We click away from him. We know it's the support. Like that, that has it hesitance, right? You're just hesitant the entire game a little bit. Look how we're starting this Baron, right? Urgot bot. I love it. You you analyze the situation. Think that it's a it's a good good time to do it because Urgot's bottom. Why not, right? I like this. This is a positive play. You're going for the win. And I can't get upset at this. But look at the position of your teammates. Look at Right, we're nobody's together, right? And if we do all go together, the the damage that Baron does to us is like another champion. So in essence, we're fighting a five v five. If they do come as four, right? These guys are are trying to stop them from coming to you guys, but in reality, you guys just should all be together as five. Uh, all five should be be together right now, standing in front of the mages. You and Garen, as they deal the damage, right? Their late game damage. So we uh, we back off. Fair enough. They get dry, Drake. That's fine. I guess Garen wants to go. I don't know what Garen's doing. On this. We just need to be as five. Like I can't stress it enough. If you're not trying to lead the team, or you're just being, you know, sitting, you're sitting at the side, being, you know, sitting at the side watching your team fall apart. Right? Take control of your, take, take lead. Tell your team to back up. Tell, tell everybody to group up together. Like we're just, we're just gonna slowly bleed and lose the game. Yeah, it's good that you don't want to give up. And it's good that you keep playing to win. Like that. 
A lot of players can't do that. Finally, the 5v fight, five v fight comes and it's too late, right? Yeah, we're just sitting here like, what the fuck, man? No way. If you hold this, yo, if you hold this and win this, yo, fuck yeah, buddy. Good shit. Man, this is not my. Oh, yeah, they got you. Good with the candy end. <laughs> there's nothing to say about this, you know. There's no word. There's no words to be said. Don't throw. Oh my god. You have to defend, right? Let them get Baron. You guys have Elder. When they all, when they all fucking shove, when they all push again, you guys are gonna just I'll win the game. Oh my! I don't know, Baron. What can I say? I don't know, man. That's a tough one, y'all. At the end, there's not much to say, but I said a lot. Man. Hopefully, um, any of this helps you, man. Good luck on the rift. It's a lot. This is a long one, but you know, hopefully, it helps you, man. I really want to see you climb, right? Like, you'll 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 get what you you'll get it, y'all. Yo. You'll definitely get it. Good luck on the rift, man.